Hi there everybody and welcome to my channel Enlightened Tarot. Um, thank you for coming over to watch this video. I'd like to also say thank you to all the people who've uh, liked and subscribed. So thank you very much for that. That does mean a lot. Okay, so going forward here, I wanted to stick to the Twin Flame uh, readings and looking at the energies for December 2016. It's quite important that we kind of keep a track as to what's going on so we don't lose the focus on it but as well as realising we need to let it go and let it unfold naturally as well. So I did pull some cards earlier on from the Romance Angels cards uh, by Doreen Virtue. You can see here at first glance, a couple of cards don't look um, amazing. <laughs> They're, um, but they don't mean what you think they mean. Okay, So I've tuned in uh, and had a look at these. If we look at the first card here, it's saying attraction. Okay, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this is saying before the connection of the twin flame and after the connection of the twin flame, as in when you come into uh, union again, it's saying stay and live in the moment. You know, don't expect too much from it. Go with the flow of it and enjoy, um, you know, your now. Uh, being in the moment of now and just being happy and enjoying life uh, you know knowing that things are happening for your highest good behind the scenes and you're being divinely guided towards it so just enjoy the moment it's just saying to to let it go and to just relax okay and have some peace in where you are right now okay when we look at the next two cards here unrequited love and deception Okay, when I tune into these, this is saying here that one of the twins was running away. Possibly both, but to me this is showing one person running away, okay? The other person was quite firm in their knowingness of the connection and wanted to possibly take it a bit further at the time, but the other one, uh, the other twin, um, was not feeling uh, like things were right, when were not going the way that you had planned uh, in your mind with meeting of a potential partner. So the chemistry wasn't there at the time. It's not to say the connection wasn't there, but the chemistry at that moment wasn't there. And the reason for that was that one of you had to go away to discover for yourself what this, all this really meant. What was it about? Because you were wearing a mask. You were wearing a mask that you didn't want him or her, your other twin, um, to see. The true you you know a lot of things were hidden you there was a lot of um, issues within um, codependency um, pain hurt suffering um, dysfunction in the family um, a lot of pain and also with you know the twin here that was was standing by and acknowledging the connection and was attracted to the twin um, you know, the other twin was not feeling like they wanted any kind of uh, relationship from it at the time. So this was to get to the stage of releasing the mask to take this off so that your true self could be shown to your other, to your twin energy. Okay, so this has turned around. This has turned around because it's, um, the, the shift in December is, is quite apparent um, and things have changed for me as well. So when you look at these two together, okay, they don't look that great, but it's a positive sign to say that there was a reason and it's for you to know, it's for your knowledge to know that there was a reason that you didn't feel it at the time. Intense connection, yes. Relationship, no. There was a reason for you to go away and do that healing work. So, And that was to release the mask. Okay, so these two cards are not to be feared, they're to be looked at positively because it was just acknowledgement for you to know if you've asked the question to yourself, why did I leave, why do I not feel it? You know, there could be large age gaps, there could have been quite a long separation time period, so a lot of things um, can separate um, the twin from the other, uh, but it's just to know there was a reason for you to go away and heal. So you could release this mask. It was all about learning about yourself and respecting yourself and the self-love uh, and the healing work and releasing of people from your past that were of 
not really um, of any more use to you in your experience, your life lessons, okay? So when we look further down, and this is where the shift is coming in for December, is that we have, well, I'll leave this card last there, but it's just to show you here, it's making the effort because a lot of twins now will be guided to make the effort to go towards. As you can see, the effort wasn't there before because it was all about the other twin needing to heal. And also for this um, other twin to, to heal from it as well, but it was all about the healing work, okay, um, and knowing yourself. So now we'll be getting some guidance to go forward with the connection and the communication. So that's to kind of pick up where you'd originally left off, but separated. It's to kind of get back that connection. So even though you may be tired, you may be kind of, you know, feeling down and not had it, um, not have it go the way that you had it in your mind. Um, this is showing that great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So it is worth the effort, it is worth doing something about it. So go with your inner guidance and your gut feeling because that is playing a part in you two coming together. It doesn't have to all be, um, you know, done by the Divine Masculine. It can be done by Divine Feminine. Okay, so this is saying go with your inner guidance even if you're feeling tired, even if you're feeling low, even if you think you shouldn't be doing the um, communicating uh, first you know, and the and the other one should release it because this is about releasing the ego and and surrendering to what you should in order to get the connection and this partnership together. Okay, because deep down you both want it. You both want this to happen, um, but there are challenges and obstacles in the way. It's overcoming this to make the effort. Okay, and this leads us then to heart to heart conversations. Just saying be honest with each other tell each other how you feel and communicate clearly with it and try not to think what the other one is thinking too much um, you know this will stem back to your uh, old beliefs and old relationships and um, past breakups there'd be a lot of that going in your mind and also in the other twins so you'd be wondering like what to say and how to say it and are you going to be rejected? No, you won't be rejected. This is about opening up and being honest because now the healing work has taken place. You, you now know how to do it. It's a case of putting it into action. Okay. And the last card here is wedding. This situation involves marriage. I mean, this is pretty clear. Okay. In one of the readings we had engagement, this one we've got wedding. So it's all moving. It's all shifting positively to where we need to be. Remember, this is divinely guided. You're receiving messages right now, synchronicities as well. You need to ride with it, okay? Don't block the energy by worrying about it or over-analyzing it. You need to release all that it is that, that blocks you. Meditate if you have to. You just need to release everything that puts blocks in, in, in its way. Because you need to follow this. You now know you know, reasons for the separation, for the distance, for not really feeling it at the beginning. You know, why were you walking away? Why did you not communicate? This is the reason because it was all about you having to heal, first of all. You know, from lots of issues, codependency, family issues, um, you know, forgiving the past and releasing it with love. And knowing that that mask was being worked on, um, your true self was underneath all this. And it just needed to come out with the healing work. Okay, so going forward, it's all about getting together. This is all about coming together now. All about coming together. Okay, so great cards here. Acknowledgement as well. Telling us to live in the now. Um, go with our synchronicities and our feelings and our gut feeling and, and listen to yourself. And don't doubt the first answer that comes up. Um, on my own journey, it's like I said, it's only about a year if you've watched the previous videos and um, it's been a long journey uh, I myself felt like this um, for a while there was a lot of disagreements within me as to it wasn't my type and you know I'd felt this strong connection and I couldn't really let it go and I thought about it on and off there's a lot of that going on I'm sure it is with yourselves as well so you know it's an intense connection uh, and whoever's going through this you know it is hard work i think it is hard work so 
but it needn't be because it's saying here to us the messages to just enjoy your life things are, are unfolding behind the scenes for us okay so it's all working out very positively um i just want to look at these cards as well just to see what further messages would help us um okay so here right in front of you two have flicked out um great card put this down this two came out i mean you can see genuine love this is a pure love this is a divine love okay look how beautiful this card is okay you two together are protective towards each other you know each other so well you are one you are complete together you know you work on the heart space you connect through the heart energy look how gorgeous this is this has just come out from this deck this gorgeous deck knowing that love is coming together here's your meeting place in the garden okay this is where connections happen for love for you coming together a gorgeous set of cards to come out here and um, just look at the overall spread and see if you can pick up any messages yourself um, if there's anything that jumps out to you go with it listen to that inner guidance what are you seeing from these if you pick anything up this is a beautiful connection this is going the way we want it to go okay